Governor Ron DeSantis is touting new laws out on the campaign trail. But back in Florida, courts keep striking them down. News Channel East Capitol Bureau reporter Libby Dean takes a look at the legal battles looming over the governor's campaign. A cornerstone of Governor DeSantis' 2024 presidential campaign is a slate of new conservative laws. And we governed in Florida with bold colors, not with pale pastels. But as he boasts, back in Florida, judges are calling those laws unconstitutional. During the 2023 legislative session, Republican lawmakers pushed through and the governor signed numerous controversial laws. I don't know that there was uh, any meat left on the bone after this legislative session. In response, critics flooded Florida's courts with lawsuits. So far, judges have partly rejected restrictions on drag shows, blocks on gender dysphoria treatments for minors, crackdowns on voter registration groups, and bans on transgender adults' access to care under Medicaid. Even so, Democrats worry, despite victories, the damage can't be undone. Well, my first reaction is that Governor DeSantis doesn't really care. But I think really for DeSantis, it's just that initial headline that matters for him. Political experts offered up a different opinion, saying the lawsuits undercut the often touted victories. I think for DeSantis and the DeSantis team, they are concerned about some of these lawsuits but maybe not too concerned. It's definitely not the end of the political world for DeSantis if these things get challenged and even held up by judges because politically he still looks like a fighter. DeSantis' campaign declined to comment, and there's no way of telling if and when his legal woes may subside. But this may only be the beginning, as many controversial laws have only been in effect for less than a week, and more legal challenges are likely on the horizon. Reporting in Tallahassee, Libby Dean, 8 on your side.